How many 9-bit strings contain 5 or more 1s? Which means how many 9-bit strings contain 5 1s or 6 1s or 7 1s or 8 1s or 9 1s? Also remember, the number of 1s in a bit string indicate the weight of the bit string. And therefore, we can also think of this as determining how many 9-bit strings have a weight of 5 or more. Well, the number of n-bit strings of weight k is equal to the cardinality of b n k, which is equal to n choose k. So the number of 9-bit strings that contain 5 1s or have a weight of 5 is equal to the cardinality of b 9 5 plus the number of 9-bit strings that contain 6 1s or has a weight of 6 is equal to the cardinality of b 9 6 plus the number of 9-bit strings that contain 7 1s or have a weight of 7 is equal to the cardinality of b 9 7 and then plus the number of 9-bit strings that contain 8 1s or has a weight of 8 or has a weight of 8 is equal to the cardinality of b 9 8 and then finally the number of 9-bit strings that contain 9 1s or has a weight of 9 is equal to the cardinality of b 9 9. The cardinality of b 9 5 is equal to 9 choose 5 plus the cardinality of b 9 6 is equal to 9 choose 6 plus the cardinality of b 9 8 is equal to 9 choose 7 plus the cardinality of b 9 8 is equal to 9 choose 8 and finally, plus the cardinality of b99 is equal to 9 choose 9. I've already determined the value of these combinations. 9 choose 5 is equal to 126. 9 choose 6 is equal to 84. 9 choose 7 is equal to 36. 9 choose 8 is equal to 9. And 9 choose 9 is equal to 1. And now we just need to sum all of these. The sum is equal to 256. There are 256 9-bit strings that contain five or more ones. For the second question, how many 9-bit strings contain two or more ones? To answer this question, it'll be easier to determine the total number of 9-bit strings and then subtract the number of 9-bit strings that contain less than two ones, meaning either zero one or one one. Well, the total number of nine bit strings is equal to two to the power of n, where n is the number of bits in the string, which in this case would be two to the ninth. And then from here we'll subtract the number of nine bit strings that contain zero ones or one one. Well, the number of nine bit strings that contain zero one would be the cardinality of b nine zero, and then we'd have plus the number of nine bit strings that contain one one, which would be the cardinality of b nine one. So again, if we have all of the nine bit strings and we subtract the number of bit strings that contain zero ones or one one, we're left with all the nine bit strings that contain two or more ones. So here we have two to the ninth minus the sum of nine choose zero and nine choose one. Well, two to the power of nine is equal to 512. So we have 512 minus the sum of nine choose zero is equal to one and nine choose one is equal to nine. This gives us 512 minus 10, which is equal to 502. There are a total of 502 9-bit strings that contain two or more ones. I hope you found this helpful.